This week we are working with Bootstrap. Bootstrap is an extremely popular framework that is used by a large number of sites that don't choose to go to the full route of having a database backend. We're going to go through the Bootstrap 3 tutorial. This is at the W3 schools. And for this first page, we're just going to get through the first few lessons. So Bootstrap is important because it is responsive and it makes it very easy to move from desktop, laptop, tablet to phone. This gives you a good example of how it works. We can hit try it yourself. And the important stuff you're going to see here is in the heading. We're pointing to the Bootstrap CDN, which is the Content Development Network or Delivery Network. And we can use all of the Bootstrap source code that is out there simply by pointing to it. And you'll see that this becomes your first, first Bootstrap page. Let's go back to the Bootstrap tutorial and let's go ahead and get started with it. To use Bootstrap, you're going to use the Content Development Network, delivery, Content Delivery Network, and you can just link this code at the top of your page. So I, when I work with W3 schools on things like this, where it should be done exactly, I don't retype, I just drop it in. And we'll call this one Learning Bootstrap. We have to have the link to their style sheet, their jQuery library, and their JavaScript. And the most important thing that you need to know is that you are not going to change any of the code in Bootstrap. You're going to overwrite it using your own style CSS page. So you'll do a link styles.css. And I encourage you to keep using SAS for this. So I'm going to do a file new file save as styles.scss which is the modern version of SAS often referred to as sassy CSS and I'm going to hit save. Now in here I will define colors and do various things like that that I or if I want to overwrite any of the defaults in Bootstrap. I won't change the Bootstrap ones but since we have added our style sheet beneath the Bootstrap style sheet, these styles will win because whichever styles are listed first win. One of the primary adv advantages of using the CDN, first of all, you're not going to get into the code. Um, we're going to overwrite it. But if things are changed, um, if other websites use the same framework from the same place and your computer has the list cached, then it doesn't need to reload it. So it makes it a little bit faster. And if they were to find any errors or anything, it would, they'd fix it right there so you wouldn't have to make any changes. So you want to make sure that you include those. Plus, you also have to prepare your page for mobile. And to prepare your page for mobile, you need to make sure that you set the viewport to the content content width equals device width initial scale one. That needs to be done in the header as well, or in the head section as well. And so those are the things you need to do before you start using Bootstrap. Once we have those, we can start actually making Bootstrap pages. Bootstrap has a con common container element, and you've seen me use containers consistently throughout our courses. Um, it provides a fixed width container, and I want to show you a couple things about implementing it. So I've got this h1 tag, and I'm going to put in a dot container. And I could use container or container fluid. I prefer container. And then we can play with those settings some. So I'm going to go into Live Preview. And you can see it's already changed a bunch of settings for us. I'm going to do Inspect. And I want to look at the container. 
This would probably be better if I didn't have it open in brackets. Okay, so class container, and here are my styles. Container width 750 pixels. Well, if I want to overwrite that, I may also want to put a border on it. I can test it here. Border two pixels solid orange. Let's see where it is. Ah, and see, it's just going around the header there. We can set the width to 's got a minimum width of nine of we want 960 px and we're going to not set it as a static width too, because that would defeat the point of using a framework we're going to just add a max width of 960 pixels and we can see changes as they happen so usually when I'm making changes in a framework like this and I don't want to get in and read the code directly, I can see all the different things here, padding right, padding left, auto. So now I'm going to start making a few changes in my CSS based on this because when I'm making changes in the browser, I'm just seeing what it will do. I don't get to see, it doesn't actually change the original code. This is just testing it. So I'm going to go back into my styles.css page or SCSS page, and I'm going to do dot .container, and I'm going to override here. I'm going to set a maximum width, 960px, and for right now, I'm going to set a border to 2px, solid, dark, orange, and then I'm going to I wanted to set the body to a different color just so it stands out. Body, background, dark gray. Now, really, I would go through and get real colors for this and put in variables, but for right now, I just want to get this working. I just want to see what happens and make sure that my styles are overriding it. Oh, and I probably want to set a background color for the container. And I already know by looking at things that I'm going to want to change the H1 tags to text align center. And we can do color dark orange match or border. Okay, so just because you're using a framework with a bunch of CSS defined doesn't mean that you won't also have your own CSS page. You will. And we can test this now. Okay, so I don't have a minimum height in there, but that's fine. This is showing me what the changes as I make them. So that's just getting started, and you can see we're using existing things in Bootstrap. So your first page is going to be working with the grids. This is your getting started video. I'm going to do the using grids video separately, but I'm going to keep working on the same page. So go ahead, get everything set up, and come back when you're ready to learn to use the grids for your first assignment.